Hey guys, my name is Baraj Gale. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I talk about my journey into spirit. So subscribe to the channel. Today, I want to talk about relationships, attachment, and feelings. So if you've gone through a recent breakup and you're back kind of, you, you think you've done your healing, and you're back looking for people, but you just cannot get over that X. I want to share my experiences a little bit. So I talk a lot about attachment in other vlogs. And what I had learned is you're not really, you're not, when you want to move forward, but you feel attached to somebody and you have a hard time moving forward, what you need to realize is it's not the human being that you're totally head over heels for and in love with still. It might feel like to you, you might think it's the human being because you're coming from a, from a um, ego perspective, but really what you love is the experiences and the feelings that you had within those experiences with that person. So the attachment is towards the person and you might think that, oh, this, I want this person back in my life, but really what you're at a higher level, at a higher um, vibration, what you want back, what you're craving are the experiences that you had within that relationship not the person. So what I would what I would suggest that you do is write down all those experiences that you had with that person um, in a journal or whatever. You don't even have to write it down. You can just um, think them and in order to manifest them in your next relationship. So what were those experiences that made you feel good? That um, those experiences, experiences that you feel are within that person and that person is that experiences, which isn't the truth. So write down what gave you joy within that relationship. What made you laugh? What made your heart vibrate? What was it? Write those down. And the other thing you can also write down, but don't be too narrow, don't be too specific because everybody isn't perfect, but what was it that partner didn't give you that you're looking for in your next relationship? And as you do this and you start kind of visualizing and putting out to the universe, oh my gosh, I want laughter, I want happiness, I want playfulness, I want um, vacations, What somebody who loves to travel, somebody who has the same... Um, huge goals as me. I mean, if those are the things you're looking for, don't make them too narrow. Put them out there, then let the universe do its work. Don't specifically think of one partner because it's too narrow. It's way too narrow. And usually the past predicts the future. That one partner that you had that you may think that you were totally in love with, um, if there's no change, you'll probably go through the same fights anyways. So. It's not the person, it's the feelings and experiences that you're craving, that you're wanting. Write them down and start manifesting those, but keep it open so the universe can give you what you're looking for. Trust me, it works. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is if you're having negative emotions towards your ex still, then this is something that you need to start looking within yourself because as human beings, we are here to feel emotions and learn from these emotions. And if, um, if your ex is still, if you're not grateful for the experiences and thanking them and giving them gratitude, but on the opposite end, you're feeling angry towards them and hatred for whatever experiences you're having, this is an issue that you then need to look within yourself and you need to do some um, deeper emotional healing um, at other levels. So those are the two extreme opposites. It's, yeah. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. We're almost in five minutes and I will chat with you guys later. Love ya. Bye. Oops.